My name is Margaret Ann Windsor, and um, I'm watching. It's so sad what's happened to Hannah Graham. I think what bothers me so much is that I, I don't know how you explain it. You'd have to walk in my shoes and know how I know that these people here, they're using that. She's family. Hey, people, I'm the lady that was kidnapped from England when I was two years old. Because of my name and who I am and the money and the treaties that have come into this country and benefited you, came from my hell in the Brits and Germans' hells. And I quote an FBI agent way back that I've said over and over, it's only when the Americans find out how all this that I'm telling them affects them. I don't know if they'll ever be force-fed it. And believe me, the media all knows about my kidnapping, about the mind control murders, and the reason, and especially the media here, WDBJ 7, uh, 10, and 13, have known it since I've come here. They will not tell it just like the media in Atlanta, Huntsville, Alabama. Uh, I don't know out in California. Larry Flint was shot. Uh, the person was programmed to shoot him, and I was flown out there in 83 during a campaign. And um, in essence, he had the guts to write an article, an endorsement, and I've included that in uh, my former videos, pictures of my father and who kidnapped me, the Illuminati, and the power that was transferred to a crook, my uncle. Now then, the United States is above the law. I cannot sit here knowing I have lived among these people. I have begged. I have been beaten and everything throughout my life, but here in uh, Roanoke, Virginia, and roundabout Roanoke, when I've lived on the Appalachian Trail, if the world were force-fed to watch it, it would take down this country. Oh, believe me. You know what they do? They go to work. They at the media, I'm talking about the media at the moment, they're afraid of losing their jobs, or they just don't care about me. I guess that's what's so appalling is the people, and I quote a doctor way back in um, 80, just before they gave me the antifreeze, force-fed it in me, and that's just one day of my life, okay, that I managed to survive a little bit. He called me before it happened, and he said they're afraid of repercussions. Uh, people will help, and, and it's like they will help give money to cancer. When there's a cure for cancer, I've been telling them about it since 76, the Tesla files. You can create an illness or you can cure it. But this is what he said that's held so true. People will give to a fund. They will uh, help, uh, be a, a help with uh, children a big brother or sister, so long as there's no repercussions. And Hannah Graham, I am so sorry that happened. To, this has happened to her. She was uh, the reason the man. This is she was her body was found near on Old Lynchburg Road. It's not too awfully uh, far from where I live here in Troutville, Roanoke, Troutville. And it's forestry, and I've had to live up there, and I wonder sometimes. As bad as it was, the freezing and all that, uh, no water and all that happened, how I managed. With everybody around here knowing it, didn't want to get involved. Well, they didn't mind taking the money that the Brits uh, dished out and, and the Germans. Um, but when, I guess, Hannah, her body was found on old Lynchburg Road, and this outpouring like they care. I, I got better words for it, but I won't use it like they give a rat about what happened to her. Uh, she's family. Well, she's Brit. What makes her family, the fact that you don't think you're going to fear any repercussions? Uh, you've got uh, the murders that happened at Virginia Tech. I mean, there's a whole list of them that was mind-control murders. But the 33 
that were students that were shot by the Korean student who shot himself April the 16th of 07. I mean, it goes on and on. Hannah is just part, she's a part of the mind control murders. Is this agency deliberately done in patterns? And I hoped it would be told, but it would take down too many people. What What's going to happen with a psychiatrist who have to know about mind control murders and are treating people for mental illness? But I want to get back to Hannah. They have had all, uh, the biggest search probably, I don't know if it's in history, uh, looking for someone. Why? She's English. They they don't really care. I'm English. I'm the lady that was kidnapped and told you about all the mind control murders about me. And it went on and on. They starved me. You talk about isolation and this uh, Ebola. I told about the Center for Disease Control in the book. I put it on YouTube so it would be dated before any of this last mess started with the Ebola coming back to where it started, the Center for Disease Control. They're the ones that engineered it and spread it to Africa. And now then this, um, I guess she's a nurse that's on CNN, about she's quarantined with just a toilet in this huge tent. Honey, nothing against you, but you're complaining and they're treating you in a sense like they have me. I told about what this country's doing and what they did to me, and they wanted to just kill me. And, yeah, I've been quarantined because people didn't really care, and they were afraid of repercussions. And uh, I don't cause the mind control. I just tell about it. I was a, uh, It's been kill the messenger. But when you talk about toilets and the buzzards, that's how they found Hannah Graham's body, a man called in, and the buzzers were circling. Uh, if it sounds gross, you should walk in my shoes. I lived on the Appalachian Trail and, and thought I knew every rock in this mountain and uh, the trail all around Roanoke, just trying to live, carrying a tent and whatever I could put together with everybody knowing it. Um, so I was lucky to have a tent. I had no toilet. I had no tissue, and people just wanted me to move on out of their way. So they're not going to tell any of this. And, no, you don't love Hannah Graham any more than you did me, people around here. Um, they are such phonies. They're never going to tell the truth. It would uh, affect their lifestyle. They're going to go on living this good life as long as they can. Well, the New World Order, which stole it, helped kidnap me of the Illuminati. Elizabeth, who's illegal, there's nobody around here that doesn't know all this. They hasn't got in to just shut me up. I don't know how to live, and I don't know that I will. But my wish is that you force said what you're doing. And when I watch you on TV and you're interviewing the psychiatrists and the social workers and all this, and what's being done to the lady who came back from Africa, First of all, you all spread it, America. But she's coming back and being quarantined, and she thinks her civil rights are being violated. Oh, my God, lady, I wish the world would have to look at what you've done to me. What, what is a civil right? 